ready to uh, grind these bad boys. This stuff. Okay? Oh, yeah, yeah. You're going to need this. You're going to need a drill bit and a vacuum hose, okay? Put the vacuum hose on like that. I put a little slit in it. That way uh, it'll slide on easier. And then we're going to grind them just like that, okay? Right, here we go. Okay, now, time to grind the valves. What you do is pick up some of this. Valve grinding compound. Okay, pull the uh, valve out. What you're gonna do, you're gonna put a little bit of oil on the stem, the valve stem. Right here, okay? So get that all oiled up. Not the tip, because you're gonna put the vacuum hose on the tip. Next, slide it inside the uh, valve guide. Leave it just like that. Now, compound. Put some compound on that bad boy, okay? Okay, just like that, just a little bit. Now, go to the back of the valve. Put the uh, vacuum hose on the tip of it, okay? Going like that. Check it. Okay. Now bring it on this one. Now watch the uh, valve. You got the compound on there, okay? Okay. Right Put it right. Here. Yeah. Right there. Point it straight at it. Okay. See? As you're going in and out, the, com the compound. It's just like liquid sandpaper. And what it's doing is it's uh, just grinding through the seat and the valve at the same time. You got to go back and forth, okay? Now we're going backwards, okay? You're going to keep doing this for like two, three minutes, maybe even five. It depends. Put it up close so they can hear. Listen to the sound. I don't know if you can hear that, but listen to the sound. Listen to the sound. As the pitch changes, you can tell the seating is starting to change. So let's put some more compound on there. Okay, now I'm gonna go back the other way. Slowly, that way everything can, uh, that way all the, uh, the compound can spread evenly. So I'm pulling hard every once in a while. That way I know that bad boy is grinding on it real good. And that's how you grind your valves, okay? Now go in, go in reverse. You're gonna do this until you, uh, you hear a really, really good uh, noticeable change, noticeable change in the, uh, the seating, okay? Pull on that bad boy hard sometimes, like that. Reverse, just grind the heck out of that bad boy, okay? Remember going in and out, grinding that thing. And that's how you grind your valves. So, that's how you do it right there, simple as that. So take this bad boy out, and you go on to the next one. You can do them all in one shot, or you can start the next one next. I'm just gonna leave all the, the rest of them in, Check it out. See that seat? See how that's uh, how that looks there? Let me take this glove off. Get it done. See how uh, this valve looks? Let's look at the valve in the seat. Bring it up a little closer. Okay. I gotta clean this real good, but uh, look how good that looks compared to that. See the big difference? Let's look at the old one. Not bad at all, huh? That's what you want right there, okay? So, that's how we're gonna make all these valves, okay? We're gonna make the old ones, these ones, look like these, okay? It's not gonna be brand new, but it'll be better than this. And they see better, much better, okay? 
They have an airtight seal, watertight seal. You can look in one of my other videos and you can see how I use water to check these things, okay? All right, and that's how you do your valves. I'm gonna do them all, then I'll get to the end and I'll show you what to do after that, okay? All right, that's how you grind valves at home. Watch the vacuum hole. See how it does that? It's starting to bind, that's what you want. You got bad boys grinding good. Switch up. Okay, this is the last valve right here. So next step after this, so before uh, I finish this, let me show you something. Show it inside here real quick. Put it right, the camera right here. This way though. Okay, inside here, you wanna keep that thing oiled up. You don't have to all the time, but if you feel like you need a little bit more oil, make sure you keep that lubricated. Cause when you're spinning the valve, you don't want the valve to get dry in there. It won't get dry after you put before you know when you put oil, but the first time. But just in case you need to put oil, or you feel like it's starting to get bind, start to bind on in there, just add oil through the port here. Anyway, this is the last valve, and that's how you do it. Show all these real quick. Okay, when you do these valves, when you lap these valves like that. Put all these in at one time. Don't do it one at a time like I showed you at the beginning. That was just to demonstrate. So put all the valves in. Let me see. Put all the valves in right away at the beginning. Do them all in one shot. The reason why I showed them like that at the beginning is just to, just to demonstrate. Okay? And keep these bad boys oiled. Always keep these lubricated with oil, the stems. And keep the uh, the compound on this part here, but do not get the compound on the stem. If you do, make sure you wipe that bad boy. Okay, and that's it for the valves for grinding the valves. Man. Okay, listen to the sound real good. Put it up close. Come at this angle right here, so they can hear the sound. When you listen to the sound. Once in a while, get a rag and uh, not every once in a while, not every single one of them. Get a rag, wipe off the uh, old compound, put more, okay? Put more like that. <laughs> Just don't throw it off. Okay, get it on there. Let it uh, spread out. Listen to the sound. Get a change in the pitch. Hear that? That's what you're going for. You're going for that grind. You want to just tear that sheet up and get into it. And I know, man, some of you, uh, some of you dudes who work at the machine shop are probably tripping out. And don't like this method, I know. Yeah, of course, the uh, 45 degree cut's better. But hey, man, this is for the, uh, it's for broke folks, man. People who, who don't, people don't got that much money. All right? It works too, very well. After I'm done with all these valves, these things are airtight, they're sealed. You look at my other uh, videos, you'll see how I do it. How I check it with soap and water, or just water by itself. Okay, now, check it out. In case you're wondering, is there another way to do this? 
other than with the drill. Yeah, there's another way. There's a way right here. See this right here? This. This is called the valve flapper. But this is the one you do by hand. Okay? What you do, fortunately, this one I have is small. This one's small here. It doesn't fit on there. But they sell smaller ones with smaller suction cups here. What you do is you stick it on like that. This one doesn't stick. I'm just showing you. I'm just going to demonstrate. Stick it on like that. Then you go. Bring it up. Bring it up. You're constantly bringing it up and down. And you're just doing this all day while applying, while applying pressure. Just like that. Okay? You can do it like that too. But it's up to you. You know, you choose what works best for you. I used to do it with this. Uh-uh. Not no more. I'd rather use power. Way better, more efficient, faster. It works much. Puts a better, better seat there on this bad boy than this. So that's the other method. You use this tool, hand tool, a power tool with the vacuum hose. But anyways, it's this or this. You choose.